Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us back on the Silburn Show. And of course, I've got DJ Elaine Smith as we wrap and chat. Elaine, what well going on? Everything, you know, yes. everything. At Jamaica, we don't know, you know. I don't know. Straight out of Ochi. <laughs> you know, anytime anybody say anything to me and they say, so who are you? I'm Silburn City. Who are, who, is, who are you? Straight out of Ochi. I would. <laughs> yeah. I'm straight out of West Milan. You're straight out of West Milan? West Milan and Trelawney. All right, I'm going ask you the next question. Where are you born? West Milan? Where are you born? I'm West Milan. Oh, well, actually, I was born here, but my mum. <laughs> 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 this is how I catch on all <laughs> from Jamaicans all the while, you know what I'm saying? But how you mean it? How you mean? Lambs River. Lambs River? Yeah. What's that? Lambs River, that's, that's round by West Milan, isn't it? Oh, right, West Milan. La, West, well, which, La, Ramsey well, Corner. You know, well, sometimes well I meet these British Jamaicans here and I say to them, where they're born? They say, oh, we're born in St. Thomas. And I said, you're talking St. Thomas Hospital. St. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Hospital, they're born. Right? And I said, come on, man, it's easy, man. Original St. Thomas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyhow, but it, it's beautiful because at the end of the day, um, we are all gelling. You yeah. Know? You know, listen, uh, I want to touch into something about entertainment, you know, the whole entertainment business, yeah. because you're in the entertainment business for a while, and things are evolving so much. And uh, I was looking at the whole thing regarding the Bill Cosby sentencing, you know, he's gone down three to ten years, wow. um, the Weinstein impending trial, but the allegations against one of us, and also the Me Too movement, which is actually taking down men, you know, <laughs> or even on women as well. But a name like Bill Cosby, which is... Every, it's like a, a name above many names, you know. What, what's your thoughts about this? I mean, the jury with, especially is with, the out. with the, the entertainment. Yeah. yeah, no, the jury's out, mm. and I do feel sorry for um, any woman that's been violated yeah. in this industry. And back then, it was a time where nobody would believe you. Yes. Over powerful figures. Mm. Um, you know, um, but, and it's hard to believe that Bill Cosby is in that frame. It's yeah. very hard to believe it because you look at him, he's the epitome of, of the ideal family man, yes. let alone black family man. Yes. We grew up on him, he's a nation's father. Mm. And the ambition of him, he brought people like Will Smith, yes. you know. So to think that is being said, against him and I often think to myself well he had young ladies around him that he was mm. working with on the cast mm. I haven't heard anybody yeah, come from, out and say nothing anything from the people around from him, yes. that was yeah. directly around him and I say again if he is guilty of this you know I do apologize and for what I'm about to say um, and I feel your pain Mm -hmm. if he's guilty, right, and you did suffer this. However, being a semi-celebrity, mm -hmm. when I really reach nowhere, right, the amount of groupies that cross my path mm -hmm. and the things they would do for me, mm -hmm. I haven't taken them up on it, mm -hmm. but let's just say then would wash my foot and drink the bath water, mm -hmm. right? Now, Rappers talk about it all the time. We yeah. see it in videos, yes. the way women throw themselves. We see it in um, reality television. Yes, yes. It's there for everyone to see. Mm. I'm not saying that these girls who are saying that uh, they were violated by the likes of were doing that. Yeah. But the only thing that's changed really is technology and that the way we dress. Yes. But the attitudes are pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. A lot of these girls would just be happy to be seen, and men would be happy to seen, be seen in the company. Yes. You know, we see it on Facebook. You know, people are forging relationships with people that they've never ever met. Yes. And after maybe one and two exchange, it's like, me and you are family. Yeah, yeah. I've, had, I've had people come up to me and say that they've got a friend who says that their father used to drink with my father in a pub in Stockwell. Mm. Never in a million years. My father used to drink in Labrick, not Labrick Grove, Harrow mm. Road. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm making him sound like a drunkard, but no, but you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. from that generation, yeah, yeah, yeah. then put on them little bit and then mm. they meet with their friends in the pub and that's their Saturday afternoon. Yeah. They've worked hard all week, yeah. you know, and that was my dad. So once you're in the public eye, you become a target, yeah. a stepping stone for any person who wants to climb up the ladder kind of quick, mm -hmm. especially if they have no talent of their own. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? So the jury is out for me. And all I can say is if he is innocent, and to me, I can't really see the evidence where mm. he's guilty, you know. Um, God go with him. I hope he doesn't die in prison. Mm. I hope that, you know, <coughs> I hope that he takes up the teachings that even though they've incarcerated him, they can't incarcerate his mind. mind yeah. And I hope that he can write books. And I hope that he can devise more TV programs yes. and build more stars from where he is. I saw something on Facebook. I've got a lump in my throat. Yeah. I saw something on Facebook where they um, actually it was, um, what's her face? Um, <laughs> what's her name? Wendy Williams. Wendy, okay, yeah. Wendy. Yeah. And uh, she had pictures of the inside of the cell. Oh, I yes, didn't I like what she did because yeah. she was... Mimicking she him. was mimicking him. She was like, you know, and as far as I'm concerned, what she has to understand yes. is that where she's sitting right now is because he opened doors. Yes, yes, yes. Right? And she don't know the facts. She was not there. She's listening yeah. to... She was talking about his bed and all his, his special bed toilet and, there. And, and, and his first meal yeah, and yeah. all of that. So you mm. saw it too. And mm. I just thought, how very, 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 very dare you? Mm. Mm. You were not there, right? Yeah. He was tried by the media before anything went in right? there. Yeah. She herself will know about groupies and what they're capable of, mm. right? And back then, you know, it was the time of, um, it was a time of, what was it? Free love. Yeah, hippies. Hippie and, yeah. and they would have, you know, who knows? They all can, they may have all consented mm. to take these pills to feel a bit high and iry. Who knows? And then years after they come to, sense, come to their sense, I realise, that was wrong, really. And so I would take them down. Yeah. And then, you know, we've got people where we've got strong evidence of people grabbing mm. people. Mm. Right? Is that going to be a beep? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? But not now up to them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a very unfair. We know what he tried to do. Mm. We know he tried to buy, was it NCN or ABC or one yeah, of those yeah. or what have you? NBC, He's yes. a very powerful man. But the question is now, many people are ditching the Cosby show. Do you, would you still watch Cosby Of course show? I'd still watch the Cosby show. I keep show. saying to people also, you need to separate as well the person from this the show at the same time. But you have to think about it at the end of the day. I said, nah, I'm not going to stop watching my Cosby show, man. I love my, I start posting my Cosby shows a lot. But there is a lot, listen, there's yeah. a lots of moral, sto moral um, what do you call it, stories to be had from, from them. Because, yeah. And my mum used to like, when she used to chastise me, she, and I would sort of like back chat her and say, but mum, you did do, do, do. She said, do as I say and don't, do as I do. <laughs> do as I say, don't do as I do. That's a Jamaican mother, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So what I mean by that is, you don't have to follow what he does if he's mm. guilty, mm. but there was a lot of sense in what he was doing. And he's he was, an excellent businessman. And he was talented. talking a lot about how Black men and black boys should dress and all those yes. sort of things. Yes. And he used to be very. Um, I remember one, watching one of his videos one time, and he's doing his comedy shows, and 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 he said, "Boy, I'll knock you out and make another one just like you." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when the boy was behaving, misbehaving, and he said, yeah. "I'll go back and talk to mama, and we go make another one just like you." <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. So yeah, it, it's very interesting because you got the Kavanaugh, which is happening now. I think maybe there might be. Confirming him, there's the other guy with the lady from 30 years ago who said he was um, sexual in a against her. Um, Elaine, I wasn't there, you weren't there. We don't know. We <laughs> don't know. We don't know what This is just making yeah. this, all this is doing is selling newspapers. Yeah. This is just, you know, we don't know who, we can't name it, but when they do things like this, it's serving somebody. Yes. It's yeah. serving an entity. Yes. We don't know. And I think that people need to watch the Jedi mind trick mm. 
and stop jumping up and down because I'm hearing a lot of our women who are also, you know, slating him. And mm. I'm thinking, well, no, you wouldn't do that if that was your father. Yes. It could quite easily be any yeah. one of us. We have no clue. We have no clue. And, and what's getting, re what's really sad now, I've, I said I wasn't going to mention this, but what's really sad, I think I sent a video to mm. you, is that the powers of B have got so much power, mm. so much power. So um, this made me cry the other morning, mm. um, a young youth, young man being arrested in Halston. The three, po four policemen on him? Four, was it four? It felt yeah. like more, they, you know, spread, you know, he's on the floor already and one of them had CS gas. Spraying, spraying in his spraying ears. In his, and his, there was no I, need I, I, for I've it. I've seen it, I've seen And these no guys need are, for it. yeah, I saw it and um, the lady was shouting at him and people were there. No need and, for it. it, it you know. Some what that is telling me, yeah. sorry I don't cut yeah, you, but yeah. what that is telling me is that you can see yourself being filmed, your face is blatantly on there, yes, and yes. you're still doing it. It means that you know you're going to get off and that you are protected. Am yeah. I right in saying yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, it's at, at, by the same token, I remember when I was growing up, and I remember if a member of our crew wanted to do something wrong or mm -hmm. stay out later than they should. Yes. We would almost sing in chorus, Minato that my mother would have killed me. Yes, yes. Right? That's because we were scared of our parents. Mm. The kids nowadays, you don't hear that coming from their mouth no. because they're not scared of nine. I say to people sometimes that when they're having arguments with me on Facebook and so like that, and they're having, I say, listen, I don't know what is going to tell my mother. So I'm having these discussions. <laughs> or you are having conversations with persons of such disposition. Why? Because I still, in the back of my head, have that respect for my mother yeah. in Jamaica. Yes. You know, as a big man. That, um, and I don't think I should actually tolerate those level of discussion because I would not do it yes. normally. So why should I? Mm -hmm. And I think that is right there whereby, uh, and, and it goes into black history. Yeah. Yeah. It goes into black history now, uh, whereby we're now, as you can see, in Black History Month. And we're in Black History Month, whereby many people are actually saying, let's switch it. Some councils are saying, call it Diversity Month. And people are not upset saying, oh, they're taking this away from us. But Elaine, don't we have the responsibility to be teaching our children, 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 our history? 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. But can we address the... the they are taking it away from us. Mm. Please, will somebody show me in yeah. legislation where there's a seal, a stamp that has legitimised yes. that black history happens in October yes. and that it is a thing. Yes. The point I'm making is that we can make it for how long we want it mm -hmm. and for when we want it and what's in it, Yes. what we want to teach. So, yes, you're right. 24-7. Nobody, yeah. you know, we, we, we're, we're such sheeples wow. and it wow. just gets on my nerves. Yes, yes. If I had enough money, I could wake up one day and decide, well, you know what? I'm going to have a wig-wearing month mm. and do something about and make it something by simply doing it. So by simply putting on a vent... Yes. And grabbing a few people together, like me, we don't like yourself, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, here. But if I give you a wig, <laughs> you're gonna have to wear some red high shoes <laughs> oh, right. to go with it, right? No, no, I'm not in that thing. There, <laughs> <laughs> <In the> Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see that Jamaica never do some funky things my ideas, you know. I don't know what happened to them. Yeah. But I just pulled that at the top of my head. But yeah. the, the general point that I'm trying to make is that we can take. Cats wearing bomber jackets month or instead of feeding dogs in yeah. as Jamaicans do with cornmeal, yeah. we're gonna feed them proper dog food yes. in in the month of September. Yes, yes. And we're gonna get a few people to do various events up yes. and down the country. Yes. And we're gonna do this every single year. Mm. All of a sudden, because we're such sheeples, it catches on. Mm. And then we go to the local authority and say this is what we're doing. Mm. And then they buy into it. And then mm. all of a sudden it becomes official. But it ain't really official. Yes, yes. It's official because everybody's decided to do it. Follow fashion. In this month. Yes. Right? Because where did it stem from? Mm. Did somebody cut a ribbon? 
did somebody sign something? Mm. If I, otherwise, I want to see that document. Yeah, but there, there, there have been the discussions and everyone wanting to have it in, in a particular month or so because the UK is October, um, in uh, America it's February. Uh, but what is happening now is whereby, uh, I think I've seen lots of discussions happening where a couple of councils are talking about calling it Diversity Month, and I think Don Butler, MP, um, is also getting upset about they're changing up the whole thing, taking it away from us. And my thinking each time, and I did it at the last year, where I had Paula Perry, and I said, let's make Black History Month, uh, or teach Black History every week. Every you know? day. Or every day, you know what I mean? Because if somebody give you something, Elaine, they can take it back. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying, absolutely. Yeah. But I'm still saying is, what did they, how did they give it to us? Yeah. Was it just by repetition of yes. us, somebody just saying, yeah. right, this is what we're doing? And do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. For me, I don't care whether you want to call it diversity month. Mm. I don't care what you want to call it. You said put some, um, put some animals in, you said, in the mix. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't <laughs> care if you want to, you know, to, you know, the diversity might mean including animals. I don't know. What does it mean, diversity? Yeah. What does yeah. it actually yeah. mean? What I would really, where you would get me to, to stand up with you is if we're now campaigning for black history to be taught in schools. To, mm. Is it on the curriculum? Mm. This is important. Yes. This is important, you know. So even when I was on the radio and it was like, yeah, Black History Month, Lane, I'm thinking, well, do you know mm. what? I don't know about you, but I'm black every day of the year. Mm. Every day I wake up, I'm black. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't yeah. need a month to remind me that I'm black. I don't need a yeah. month to remind me of my history. Yeah. I'm a poor student anyway because um, I try to learn. I do. And I try to retain some of the... the, 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 the but you can't retain everything. And the head not good again become a rich day each day. But I do realise, I do acknowledge how important the people that's gone before us... Um, is to who I am today yes, and what yes. we're going through today. Yes. And this is a bit kind of um, not belittling anything, mm. but even from a comedian point of view, I was watching something on social media. I love social media. Yeah. I do. And um, somebody was doing a tour of a, um, a location where slaves were first um, put yeah. Like like a holding port, yes, if you the like. the point of no return or something like they call it. I can't yeah. remember. Don't remember yeah. But the ceilings was very low and it had like a, a ledge and then this was like a little gully mm. where all the thesis and the, the excrement mm. was put and like they were just chained together mm. in this very small um, unit, yes. right, with a, a small window at the back. So a lot of them would die of suffocation, mm. right? And I looked at that and I, I was just like horrified. But a few, um, like a week later, um, that's it, I was organising the after party for the 291 Club yes. and it's in the, the, the bar next door. It's not, not a crafty plug, but I'm getting to it. But <laughs> yeah. uh, the bar next door, the Empire Bar, mm. only holds about 250 people. Mm. And so I was getting some photographs up of the bar and I think, boy, we're going to ram that out. And then I laughed and I thought, that's probably why our parties are rammed and we don't mind mm. being so close together because actually, historically, we were piled on top of each other. Mm. We're used to being... It's a powerful analogy there. Thinking about Do you understand? It. Yeah. it just came... When I was looking at how small it was and it just reminded me of our house parties, you went to one of our house parties and we were like this. We're in that you tile. Were, yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't ask anybody to dance. You mm. didn't have to because you were already, already dancing, dancing with them. Yes, yes. And it's, 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 you know, it's not something to laugh at, but actually that's how we were, weren't we? Mm. Very mm. closely packed. Closely packed. Yes. And when we have our part parties, we're closely packed. Mm. Mm. You know? But, um, yeah, I mean, I love social media. I've learned so much from social yeah. media. And I just think, coming back to your... Black History Month, mm. um, I just think that if we are going to campaign about making it... Um, keep it a month or something like that, keep it, keep it, keeping it Black History Month. Well, if we're going to campaign, campaign about um, getting more of it in the curriculum, because I don't know how mm. much is in the curriculum at the moment. Hardly much. Yeah. Right? Throughout the year then I can be bothered to have the conversation. If we're mm. going to argue or talk about 
its name and how mm. long it's for, whether it's going to be in September, January or, or whatever, I'm not really interested mm. because we're for Noah. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's 2018 now. Mm. It's 2018 and we should know by now our history. And if we don't know our history, well, let's say, down them a supper. That means because, yeah. because <laughs> in, 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 the, in the different communities, part of their growing up is somewhat immersed in their culture and their history. And, and I believe that sometimes the, the black community and the black race tend to be absorbing every other thing, while others are actually absorbing everything but keeping themselves still mm. separated or segregated. And I believe it's very important that we do know our history and it's important for us because when I watch the show like Kunta Kinta Roots, where many people yeah. sometimes don't like to watch, I always remember when Kunta Kinta was born and they took him down to this river and they put him up like in the air, like to the ancestors. Yes, yes, like that. Yeah. Like an offering. Yeah, yeah, it was like linking the legacy, linking yeah. the history with that. Mm. And I believe that is something which is also lacking as well. The spirituality the, yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. It, it's lacking. Mm. And that's why I notice sometimes the Jews and the Asians or whatever like that, Muslims, see, the, the, the historical linkage a lot has to do with their spirituality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that is what keeps them very strong. Because, Bonded, yeah. because I always laugh when I say, Sadi Khan is the mayor of London, Saji Javid, Sadi Khan is Labour, Sajid Javid is a, a Conservative, who is a Home Secretary, but they're still subjected to the Imam. Yeah. <laughs> to the Muslims, because they are Muslims. Yes, yes. So therefore, I believe the Muslims and the mosque are saying, we got our guys there. I know, I, know, I know some are Conservative, but let's not deal with the politics. We got our people there. They're in place, you know? And I was saying to some people the other day, Sean Bailey is being put forward as a conservative candidate for the Conservative Party. I like Sean. Many people are cussing him already because he's Tory. And I say, be strategic. Mm. Get our guy there. Mm -hmm. You know? Look, <laughs> at the end of the day, right, if we can't learn that by now, yeah. then what, you know, because even within your own family, yeah. you've only got to sit the whole family down yeah. and maybe watch something simple yeah. as EastEnders, right? Television, yeah. right? And a situation can be happening. Yeah. And that could bring war in the family yeah. because when we- Man, we've shut been, door and left yard. <laughs> yeah, because you know what I mean? You think this and you think yeah. that and yeah. you think this and you think that. Yeah. So we don't, we're not all labor yeah. in yeah. the black community. Yeah. Some of us think differently. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yes. So why not have somebody in Labour, yeah. somebody in Conservative, it doesn't matter. Yes. Let's have people in there representing different parts of the family. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, again, sorry, uh, stay with me. Yeah, I with remember you. With you. watching, um, um, what's it called, Big Brother one yes. year. And it was the year when they had, uh, what's her name, Chidozi the nurse, was it? Is that the black girl or the, black the Asian girl? girl? Oh, the, the girl. The Zimbabwean, Zambian. Yeah, she yeah. disgraced herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. I think it was that same year where they had, like, the... I don't remember all their names. They had the gay-looking um, kind of... Uh, what's his name? The one that boxes, um, who, who's very much like this. What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> uh, the boxer, who used to oh. drive around in that massive... Okay. Chris Eubanks. Okay. Cool. Well, it wasn't Chris Eubanks, but yeah. he reminded me of Chris Eubanks, yeah, right? Yeah. But I think he was gay. We had that. We then had the guy who never took off his overcoat, mm -hmm. right? And he wore that woolly hat, right? Then we had um, just different... Different people with different styles. Different, but all black. Yeah. And the reason why I liked that particular um, series is because they showed different black people. We are mm. all not the same. Yes, yes. We are all not the same. So I say all of that to say it don't matter, because me personally, where politics is concerned, I do follow it, but mm. it, whoever's gonna be in is gonna be in, mm. and we still have to fend for ourselves. Well, they always say you can vote out the government, but you get the government in. You see. <laughs> <laughs> let's, like vote, let's vote out the government, and guess what happened next? The government, government come in. The government come in. <laughs> and you're, even the one that you're bringing, you're still not going to lie. So we're still up to fend for ourselves. Yeah, yeah. So the point is, yes, let's have our people 
position strategically. Just, just, and, you know, being in this game as well, uh, Miles and I were sitting there and, um, you know, we was trying to fig figure out how we're going to pay for this and how we're going to pay for that. And I remember there was this um, station, I can't remember what it was called now, but it was run by Asians. Mm. And um, one of my friends who worked for them, black guy, worked for them, and he said, Elaine, you wouldn't believe the way that they operate. Yes. Now, to be on Sky, it's a bag of money. Yes. And it came round to that time where they needed to pay the bill. Yes. And it was like they never had the money. And um, I think it must have been bailiff time or something mm. like that. Mm. And he goes, within an hour, that he watched a guy make some calls. Within an hour, yes. this person came back with a bag of cash money, yes. brown bag of cash money. And he was like, how would you get that then? They just go around to the local, you know, this one's got a corner shop here and yeah. that one. And they just, they don't question it. They just put it together. Our brother, whether they know them or not, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. And I'm just thinking to myself, we don't have that. We don't have yeah. that consortium. Well, you know, the Windrush era, mm. when they came, they had no choice but to do that. The partner, the partner. Yeah. So why, why? I was even saying that it would be such, you know, such a fabulous idea, which yeah. I've had this idea for years. Like, you know, you have... Uh, mm. <laughs> we were having a round of applause there. <laughs> we have, like, um, say, for example, whether it be... Well, say the entertainment field, yeah. but let's just say the music industry mm. then, right? What should actually happen, which is what they do in America, mm. right? Um, we saw it with... Um, God, who was Buster Rhymes with? I can't remember. Um, Flip Mode Squad. Okay. Right? And what they did is that they've got like a pool of rappers, mm -hmm. right? And they've all got their music or whatever. But what they do is they invest in one first. Yes. They get, everybody gets behind that one. Everybody backs bigger. that one. Yes, They're yes. backing harmonies, blah, blah, yes, blah. Back yes, that one. Yes. Roll him out. Then it's the next one's turn. Yes. Roll him out. That's the way it's supposed to work. And then you've got a movement. But Elaine, we keep talking about this every year. It's like a deja vu. People keep talking about this. But no one will do it. And nobody won't give me the, d you know, if I had the money, I'm telling you, I wouldn't even talk to nobody. We just mm. do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a, a quick break and come back because I'm going to sneak up on Elaine and she doesn't know this. I'm going to ask her about Brexit. Brexit. <laughs> Thank you. Coming back. <laughs> For effective social media marketing, check out GH & Co Marketing Solutions. Let us help you through strategic and creative planning. We offer social media management, website development and maintenance, newsletter content creations, graphic designs and lots more digital marketing services. Call 074-808-47925. Email us ghmarketingsolutions at gmail.com. Follow us on social media at GH Marketing Solutions or visit www www.ghmarketingsolutions.com GH and Co Marketing Solutions Making our clients vision or vision Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on the Silburn Show and uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos and subscribe to the channel Let people know about it, but the important thing is also to comment Let us get your comments, let us get your views so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen So, as I said Share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time.